Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. Today I'm going to be doing a collaboration with my friend Laura here on YouTube as Gold Star Work. Make sure you guys go check out her channel. She is amazing. I love doing collabs with her and um, we actually have another one coming up as she will be part of my Disney collab. But for today, we are going to be doing a palette bingo together because it's been way too long since we've done one together. And we decided to do a palette we both have, which is the Sweet Talk palette from ColourPop. We were trying to decide on which one to do, and um, this one made sense because we both have it, but I told her that I've really been wanting to dip back into this before spring was over here. So... Yeah, I'm excited to jump into this and do a little peachy look. Plus, I have not done a palette bingo in so long in general, so I'm excited to film this. I'm going to be pulling up my random uh, number generator. I think there's one on Google. Sorry if I'm like out of breath before the end of this video. We have been podcasting all morning and I literally have been talking for hours, so I am... Whew. So I went ahead and grabbed one of my Luxie brushes to use. We never decided on how many uh, shades to do. I want to say she normally does like five shades in her videos. So I'm going to go with five. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up that uh, random number generator. There is 12 shades, I believe, in this palette. Yes, there's 12 shades. So I'm going to write down five. So I'm going to go ahead and generate this. Oh, so my first number is 12. My battery is low on my phone, so I probably need to do this before it dies. 8. 9. 2 more. 2. And 1. All right, so let's see what we've got to work with. So we have one and two, which are going to be pretty easy. Um, catch me and side to side, which are literally the same color, except one is a matte and one is a super shock shadow. Um, then we have eight and nine. Um, I'm gonna go down the palette like this. So eight would be Dream Maker, which is right there. Um, nine would be I-C-Y-M-I which is right there. So we're going pretty peachy pink for this look. And then 12 is the last shade, which is fill free. So we might go a little smoky too. I think it's just gonna be a really cute peach look. I think I'm gonna be um, pretty safe with this palette in general, but yeah, I'm excited to make a pinky peach look. So first I'm going to be dipping into Catch Me, which is that top shade. And I'm going to start off with blowing the shade out like all over. Um, I do just have concealer down on my lids for today because um, if you guys haven't seen one of my last videos, it was a very rambling, I apologize. Um, it's a long one, but I just kind of talked about like current situations and current things and stuff like that. I got a little deep for a minute. So in that video, I talked about how bad my skin has been lately. So that is why I have some foundation and stuff on before this but I'm going to start blending that shade into my crease and then just kind of blowing it out as just a base shade pretty much And then now I'm going to go into the super shock shadow which was number two side to side and I'm gonna apply this with my finger because it just kind of applies best like that. But I'm just going to like pat a little bit um, up on the brow bone. I don't really like too much of a glitter on the brow bone, but I do want a little something going there for highlight. So I'm gonna do that with that shade, but I'm also going to put the shade like in the inner corner. The shade, I think I put it in my inner corner before in a previous look. It's just so pretty for the inner corner. Right, now I'm gonna go back into that blender brush with the first shade again. Just kind of clean up around those. Um, eight and nine I feel like are pretty similar. Um, so I'm gonna try to put Dream Maker, which is eight. 
um, all over my lid with the eyeshadow side of this brush. It is just like a matte peachy pink. And I was gonna take the really um, deep shade on my lower lash line, but I'm actually going to dip into it with the blender side of the brush. So this is shade 12. And I'm going to work this on the outer corner of this look. Okay, now that I have finished off that like outer corner color, I might need to do a little bit more blending on this side. Um, but I've already did my concealer and under eye powder. So now I'm going to take my last shade, which is the uh, deeper pink shade over here, my number nine shadow, I-C-Y-M-I. -I. I'm sure that's like a term or something, but it's just not clicking with me right now for some reason. And I'm going to run this shade along my lower lash line to make it pop a little bit. A little bit more of the Super Shop Shadow um, on that inner corner to really make it pop. And I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my face and then I'll be back. So I went ahead and finished up the look off camera and this is my completed look. I really like how it turned out. Um, like I said, I've been really wanting to dip into my Sweet Talk palette and this was the perfect excuse to set it aside time to do that. So thank you so much to Laura for taking the time to do this collab with me. I cannot wait to watch your video. And if you guys have not checked out Laura yet, make sure you guys do. Um, she is a fellow um, YouTuber friend of mine who is from New Zealand. I love watching her videos. I love her accent and I've said it before but her whole um, aesthetic is so just calming and peaceful and I always love what she comes up with. She is an artist so even in her eyeshadow looks she gets really creative and I love watching it. So make sure you guys go check her out if you haven't yet and see what look she got with her bingo because we're doing complete different shades so she's going to generate her numbers so i cannot wait to see which shades in this palette she got and what kind of look she put together i told her that i know the sweet talk palette is kind of basic for a bingo but she said basic isn't a bad thing and i said mm, you're right there and i really like how this turned out and this is definitely a look that I would wear out. I think it's really pretty and I feel like at the same time it could be like a good sultry look. So yeah, this is the look I'm rocking for today. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much if you watched and I will see you guys in my next video.